Here we go. Roll the opener. It is his time for What Caught My Eye. Buy or no buy, we're doing it. Gotta gut shake it off with the man shake. Yeah, it's always nice to be part of history and part of historical moments. Robbie Gray, famous Port Adelaide player, uh, played his final game of footy last week and our man Kane Corns managed to tack into what is a famous Port Adelaide photo. Now, the power, though, decided to crop that particular no. photo and send this out no. officially. And, <laughs> no, Kane! That is not true. <laughs> we the out of Kane. Uh, reminds us of Channel 9's tennis coach. Oh, come on. It does, David. We're the famous trio. Oh, there it is, TJ. Where's two pages? Where's Leighton Hewitt? Wait there for TJ! <laughs> what about me? Uh, I don't know what happened there. I think I was... I didn't want to out. sort of like just push myself in there. Do you get along with the guys there? Todd Woodbridge and Jim Currier and... Um, Leighton. Who's the other one? Leighton? Yeah, absolutely. Who was the other one? As though he's an afterthought. Because when you were sitting next to Leighton at Wimbledon, it, it didn't, <laughs> look that, didn't look that warm. Oh, when you, when you, you, know had that stup, you had that Real stupid bucket stupid hat. Well, well, you know yeah. why? Because he kept... Uh, oh, seriously, I know he's, he's not watching. He's he in does the States. Watch. Does he? Yep. He loves the show. He was just annoying. He kept saying... Do you think you should go to the net more? <laughs> and I'd say, Leighton, just work it out for yourself, mate. I'm sick, I'm sick of doing all your work for you. Uh, now, TJ, if you go to a KISS concert, you, you know what sort of uh, crowd it's going to be. So let's take a look at KISS concert, what it's like there. You're just oh. going nuts. You're just going berserk. Yeah, you're, yeah. They're passionate fans. Yeah, good. Tongues are out. Look at them. Look, they're just in amongst it. The girls are dancing. They just attract everybody. And uh, you just go nuts. That's just yeah. what you let yourself Absolutely. lose. Well, uh, yeah. exclusive jellyfish vision. Oh. Oh. TJ at this concert. Let's take a look at what TJ... TJ was doing there. Oh. How awkward. He's got a puppy we jacket on. How, how warm Alicia Loxley is. You're even cold at a concert. I'll well, have a look at him. Biting his nails. And it had me thinking to myself, what was he thinking at this point what while biting his nails? What was he, thinking? Was he, what thinking? Was he thinking at this concert? The Tell first us, one. Here it is. How much did these tickets cost me? How much did parking cost me? I feel guilty that I wouldn't pay for a second, second ticket for a net. Oh, you didn't take and a net. I, I should so. have come along. I don't know what the last one is, but uh, TJ. I, no, I did Take a net. Actually, and it, and it took me. Oh, gee, no, I was, just, I was just... Was just, it much of a concert? Or? Yeah, it was a very good concert. Yeah, yeah. I was right yeah, into it. Like it. How, <laughs> much, how much were tickets? Sorry? How much were tickets? I think those ones were 180 each. Worth it? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Abs no, I generally, as much and all as it looked like I was disinterested, yeah. it was a brilliant concert. I'm not, a, I'm not fans of Kiss, but great show. Right, I will. Brownie asked me the other day, if you live in a glass house, you shouldn't <laughs> throw stones. <laughs> well, take you back to Matthew Lloyd picking me up on something <laughs> during oh, the year. No. Oh. I love Kano on a Saturday night on the round so far and I was watching <laughs> Kano last night and uh, I don't think maths is his strong suit. Yeah, if, you, if you look at Sydney, I mean their draw is as good as anyone. they yeah. got Adelaide, the Giants and the Kangaroos in the next three. They've already won 11. That gets them to 15. So they're on 11 wins. They'll win the next three. That gets them to 15. <laughs> <laughs> so you're smart on Lordo. He didn't miss much. But I did tune into your new service during the week, oh, TJ. Oh yeah. And Lordo was with you and he's speaking about the Bombers. Let's have a look. Yeah, TJ, the club hasn't won a final for 19 years. So 2004 was the last winning final. 18 years, Lord, 18 years, so don't get picky. And it did take us back to how you got this nickname. It's great to win a premiership, but when you play as well as you did, it's even better. Is that you count? Yes, it is. It's the count. It is the count. Can you do the count for us? Can you do it? One premiership. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very good from Alex Ray at CSEJ. Now, uh, you talk about people shouldn't be throwing stones in glass houses and mm. the like, <clears throat> something like that. Um, you guys had a crack at me about my technique the other week, my doorstop technique, whereby I wasn't there to do a doorstop. But I want to show you what not to do when you're doing a radio interview. Here he is, our little friend Nathan Brown. Now, this is not. Have a look at the posing going on here. I mean, have a look at the jumper first up, right? The knitted number, right? But you don't have to stand up and grandstand in a radio commentary box when you're doing a radio interview, okay? So, what you need to do, Nathan, just a little bit of advice. When you've got situations oh. like that, just sit down, sit back, and let Lee Montagna do it all, mate, oh, just like right. he does with the close calls. Mm. Oh, that was it. Where's the punchline? <laughs> well, that's, they told me just... It meant to be funny. That's disgraceful, Tony. And now I feel bad about what I'm going to do to you, because <laughs> I look at the, what the word cheap shot meant. An act, this is cheap shot, an act of deliberate roughness against the defenceless opponent. Now, I sat down to watch Classified the other night because there was a promo that you were on, and I thought, how exciting is that? Me and Christina sat down, but I got this cheap shot. 
finals next week, uh, TJ. But that's it uh, for those teams that missed I'll tell out. Tell you what, mm. uh, this is an eye. But why can't we get rid of Nathan on a Sunday and get <laughs> Ross in? Oh. This, is, this, I is love a, this is Wednesday. We don't know comparisons to other shows on this show, Tony. Don't step in and try and steal our segments. Poor Nathan. I'm not trying to steal your segments. I'm trying to steal your personnel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nathan batted for me, but you just didn't want me, so that's OK. <laughs> oh. So All basically, right. you went the cheap shot. Yeah. Taro clipped the, you. Yeah. Lordo clipped you. Yeah. And then Ross has hit you back over your head for six, back yeah. down the ground. So I don't know where you're going with that. So no, I was a bit dis... Christina turned to me. She goes, are you really friends? I don't, I don't get why he would yeah. say that. And I, yeah. I, was a bit, I was a bit flat. And then my what caught my eye this week, I, was, I wasn't going to go with it because I thought, yeah. oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm beneath that. Yeah. I'm have you got a punchline? Yeah, I've got a very good punchline yeah. coming up. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I was above <laughs> doing that. Thank yeah. you very much, Damo. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not going to run with it. But then when I saw that, I thought, yeah, I am. I'm not above it. I am going to run with this. So this is what <laughs> I've got for you, TJ. So so this is you and Beck. This is the bear just sneaking up on Beck into the side. Just sneaking, sneaking, oh, no. sneaking. Look at TJ. Have a look at him go, TJ. Oh! <laughs> you didn't. I, Brownie, you didn't. I didn't. You did. I didn't know that, that was coming first up. For the year? I didn't know that was coming up. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, seriously, you got a punchline? That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty stuff. Oh. How would you rate that? Pretty, Better than yours. Pretty good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay.